Hi, so here's a quick update on the calibration procedure and in-room setup that I've been working on that's going to get released soon. Uh, the idea here is to automatically, well, semi-automatically calibrate a projection screen with the VR headset, uh, even if the projection screen is not necessarily on axis. So here we have a skewed, I just a skewed projection and I set up the projector on the table and kind of aimed it at the wall, but didn't even line it up, so it's quite skewed as you're going to see in a moment. And I'm going to walk through the steps to calibrate that with the tracking system so that the display on the screen matches up exactly with what you see in VR. So the idea is in the room setup utility, uh, you go to the control screen tab, which is going to replace the display with just the green grid. And then you use the typical, the usual input device that you use for room setup. And you touch all of these grid corners in order, in order to take goes into the system and then automatically calculate a calibration matrix that goes with that. So since there's some shadowing involved and the easiest way I found is to just put the finger on, then the device, then push the button, you just go through these grid points. Um, you can adjust the number of grid points that you want to use, but right here where we have three rows of four control points each is a good compromise between accuracy and speed, by which I mean speed of the calibration procedure. Um, Let's see, so I go through here, and oh, I should mention I apologize for the probably bad sound quality. I'm filming this off my cell phone right now, and the phone is right next to the projector, which is a little bit loud. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through here. It's just four more points. It's going to get a little bit harder to reach these up here. And then once we have these 12 points, we can see the screen that the system calculated from those and then that will automatically get taken into the VR software. Okay, so I just collected the 12 points, so the green lines disappeared because it's done. We can now go out of control screen and back to any of the other tabs, let's say floor plane, and then we can actually draw this in 3D, and oh, um, I don't want the tracking station volumes right now. Okay, so here then we see the screen that we just measured. Where is it? Right there. So the, the thicker yellow lines are uh, an actual rectangle that optimally fits the points you collected, and the thin yellow lines are the distorted quadrilateral from the off-axis projection, and these fat little points that you might see are the measurement points that we took, and then you see how the grid was fit to those. So in order to take this in, we just have to save the layout, uh, and then we can close down this, and when I close it down, you're going to see how skewed the projection is. So the projector is angled this way, so this corner over here is just way out, it's not, uh, it's not on axis. So I just started the VR program, and I haven't set it up that it automatically shows up on the projector, but we can just move it over there and then full screen it. And then if I go in now, uh, things will nicely line up between the devices and the projection. Now you will say, wait, it doesn't work. It's not lining up, actually. And that is correct. What we haven't calibrated yet is the position of the camera. We have the position of the screen, but not the position of the camera, because that, after all, might change all the time. So the way to do that is very simple. You put a place viewer tool on any button on any device, go up to your camera, touch the lens, push that button, and then things should line up. So now, if everything is working, you should be seeing that the devices exactly follow, follow my hands. And I can probably show it a little bit better if I, hang on, pointer, if I do this, and maybe on this hand as well. Okay, and so now it should all be working. Now, I should mention that this projector is a cheap um, DLP projector, so there's one frame delay. So even though overall the, uh, the, the projection and the devices should line up really well, there's going to be a little bit of a delay. So if you're moving quickly, they're going to separate just because the projector is not quite fast enough to catch up with this. But that's basically the idea. So now for whatever your camera position is, uh, from that point of view, you can film it and the devices in the system will exactly overlay, uh, will exactly overlay with the projection on the screen. Of course, you still can use this from the headset and it's still going, now I don't see where the camera is, and it's still going to work um, 
Now, of course, I don't see what the screen is showing, but I'm hoping that this is going to show up on the screen right now. So yeah, that's it. There you go. That's the new procedure, which is going to be released very soon, and it should make it easier to set up a VR system if you have a large projection screen that is backing it up, like for example in ModLab. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.